Here's how to send a request from your Unity game to your Flask application server. First, let's write our Flask application server by creating a new Python script called app. Assuming you have Python and the Flask library installed, the only dependencies we need are Flask and the JSONify from the Flask library. Create a Flask instance using the name of the current Python module. Next, let's set up a route for our request. We'll set up a simple index returning 200 using our JSONify function, which will return the value of the parameter into a formatted response. Next, we'll run our Flask application server. Let's compare the module name to its default, which is main. This way, our application server will always run when we call the script, so long as the module name remains the default. Let's test out our application server by testing it in the web browser. Now let's return to Unity and set up our request. As you can see, I have a very basic scene set up with a cube and a plane. Let's create a new C-sharp script by right-clicking in the project panel, navigating to create, and selecting C-sharp script. Let's name this script request example, then double-click it to open it in Visual Studio. Make sure to import Unity Engine's networking library. Let's create an iEnumerator function named getRequest that takes a string as a parameter. The main difference between an iEnumerator function and say a regular void function is that a void function runs through each line of code one after another immediately. An iEnumerator function utilizes coroutines. Coroutines allow us to do something like send a request to our application server and wait until we get a response to execute the next command. You might be thinking, wow, that sounds a lot like threading, but it's not quite the same, though conceptually they are similar. Threading uses parallelism for data integrity, while coroutines use a concurrency system. Next, let's create the request using a Unity web request variable, setting the variable to the get response of our URI string. Then let's use yield return to wait before continuing until we get a response from our server. Let's make sure we don't have any network errors and log the request data. Lastly, let's call our get request with the start coroutine function using our local application server's URI as a parameter for our function. Now return to Unity and attach your script to something in the scene and run your game. Make sure to observe the logs in your console. And as you can see, we got the 200 message from our Flask application. In the command prompt, we see the two times we tested our app, once from the web browser and another from the game. 